It is a day that won't be forgotten by many fans. August 16th, 1977, the day Elvis Presley died. But there's one East Tennessee man who's collected memories that are so unique, maybe no other fan has ever been able to do. That is, film all of Elvis's Knoxville concerts. And for the first time on TV, he's sharing them with you. To say Elvis Presley is a huge part of John Stansberry's world is an understatement. From the printed word to collectibles, he even bought $500 in Elvis stamps. But it's what he captured with his camera 40 years ago he's most proud of. John shot this silent film when the King visited Stokely Athletic Center in 1972. In fact, John was filming when Elvis returned to Knoxville in 1974 and the final time, 10 months before his death in 77. Some of it a little grainy, a little fuzzy but clear enough to know it's Elvis Presley. Only the family has known about the secret film, and now you see it for the first time on TV. So how did this all happen? I got stopped coming out. I didn't get stopped going in. What did you tell them? What did they ask? They asked me if I had uh, a movie camera, and I said, yeah, and they wanted to know where the film was, and they took the camera, and they opened that up, and there was no film in it. I said, there's no film in it. And they said, oh, okay. Where was so the film? the film was in her pocketbook. Of course, you know, I just stuck it right in there. And thank goodness he did, because yeah. that just happened to be the time that they actually stopped him and asked. I didn't, no, I didn't lie about it. No, it was, I, I think it was in I just pocket. didn't, <laughs> these girls or something else. Nobody does have it. That, that's what really surprised me about Knoxville, Tennessee at the time. Nobody tried to record the uh, concerts. He came out on the stage and he always would bow, you know, and the music would play and uh, we had binoculars and so I got the binoculars when he came out. And he, that, that moment of seeing him for the first time, he pulled this cape out and, you know, that's embedded forever in my memory because that was a time before you had iPods and YouTube and MTV and VH1. So if you got to see an entertainer that you only could hear on the radio, that was big stuff. The Elvis mystique lives on to another generation. Stansberry's granddaughter carries Elvis tunes on her iPod. A king of the past is still a king in the hearts and minds of millions of fans. John Stansberry has proof. Now, Stansberry says he'll sell his collection if the right price comes along. Just call me here at the station. I'll let you know. Now, by the way, the family says they always take January 8th off as a holiday. Yeah, it's Elvis's birthday.